So two years ago, I purchased this bad boy that you see behind me. This is the Aventum X from Digital Storm. And a little background information, Digital Storm is a custom PC making company and the Aventum X is their top of the line, their cream of the crop and their creme de la creme, the best custom PC that they offer for the average everyday Joe. Now, yes, they offer higher end systems for businesses, but if you're a regular person just like me, the Aventum X is the best that you can get from that company. And if you haven't heard of them, they've been making custom PCs for over a decade and I can assure you that you're gonna start seeing their advertisements all over your social media feed after watching watching this video. As you guys can see from the title, I spent $9,500 on this bad boy. But that's mainly because I bought this at the height of the silicone chip shortage. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but it threw the computer industry all out of whack. It even threw car manufacturers all out. It threw a lot of things out of whack. Everything was inflated at an all time high when it came to silicone chip manufacturing. And uh, yeah, I paid the pretty price for that because I was impatient and bought it during that time. Now, there's also the cost of labor and the proprietary cases that they offer. But nonetheless, I paid a pretty penny for this thing. Now, before buying this, I looked up as many review videos as I could. I couldn't find anything I was really looking for. Like the regular people that did post, it wasn't like the full experience of going through the full unboxing process, everything that you would get with the machine, how would it even come if it comes in that nice crate. The sponsored videos by the likes of Linus Tech Tips and Jay's Two Cents, those ones came in a nice fancy crate and that's fine and dandy, but like I wanted to see if the average everyday Joe would get that same experience when ordering from Digital Storm. And with that being said, this video was not sponsored by Digital Storm in any way whatsoever. I spent my own hard earned money to purchase this beautiful machine right here. So I went ahead and took the plunge anyway and bought this thing. And I decided I'm gonna make my own little unboxing video just for those who are interested in buying one of these machines, they'll know exactly what they're getting. Now I do apologize, when I was filming this, I messed up, I'm not a crazy YouTuber. I filmed some of it in portrait mode and I filmed some of it in landscape mode. Some of you do know that portrait mode is what you would use for Instagram reels and TikToks and, and YouTube shorts. Landscape mode is what you would use for regular YouTube videos to give you that widescreen format. So I filmed some of it in portrait, some of it in landscape, but none of the footage is cut off. So you're gonna absolutely see everything that you need to see, but sometimes it is gonna switch from landscape to portrait. And I do apologize about that. I'm not a professional. But without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the video. I hope you guys like it. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It's here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God. Like, you have no idea. I've been literally camped out my house for like hours. But yeah, it's finally here. It's finally here. It is finally here. Oh my God, look at this thing. What's a fluid for? Oh, uh, to cool it. Really, is that hot? Gets that hot? It's running a 3090 card and a new Intel chip. They run pretty hot and it has a, a custom liquid cooling hardline loop in it. Quiet, that special cooling on it. It can't be that cheap. No, this is $10,000. Are you serious? Yeah. It's here though. It's finally here. I waited three months for this thing. It's kind of a rainy day, so we're gonna cut up these straps, leave this pallet outside, and get this bad boy in the house. Yes! This is the liquid coolant. This monstrosity. <laughs> oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. It finally came after three months. The digital storm event of X has finally arrived. I mean, I'm fucking beyond excited. Beyond excited. These are the coolants that came with it, so I guess we'll see what it's looking like, you know? All right, it's nicely wrapped, you know what I mean? All right, it's a fill bottle, so you can easily fill the reservoir. Yes, sir, this is exactly what I ordered. I wanted to go with the clear coolant just because when you go with colors, they usually leave residue within your pipeline within your components, especially when you go in to flush it. So I just want it to stay clear. So for the long run, it'll remain clean. All right, that's that, that's that. We'll, we'll put this back, we'll put this back. We'll toss this to the side. 
Now, let's go. We're on to the, the main premiere. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for. This right here. I mean, I've been waiting for it. I've been waiting for this. I don't think you understand. Okay, it's been, I'm gonna say it's been two years, maybe three years in the making of me purchasing a new computer. I used to be heavy in the PC world, I used to be a crazy PC nerd. I actually traded away my last gaming PC that I built myself. I built three gaming PCs, so it's not like I can't build my own. I can build my own plenty fine on my own, like, you know what I mean? But I decided I wanted to go with Digital Storm because A, I'm way too busy nowadays to build my own, and two, I've never done a custom water loop. And not to say I can't do it, but for a first time user, I don't wanna spend hundreds, literally, probably hundreds of hours of trial and error just to get it. Like, I don't have the time for that. Pay them to do it. Okay. Yeah, it's been about three years in the making, me actually getting a PC. Like I said, I traded away my last PC for a pair of Blink Yeezys. Come here. These Blink Yeezys. I traded away my last gaming PC for these bad boys. That was about seven years ago. Well worth it, as you can see. That gaming PC was not worth what those blinks were. Shout out to my boy Dom for that. I hope that PC served you well, my boy. Yeah, so I traded away my last one for a pair of blink Yeezys, and I didn't have a need to game PC anymore. I was so busy working and living life that I just wasn't gaming anymore. So I just didn't care. But I plan on doing a lot more than gaming. I plan on doing a whole lot of content creation. It's gonna do exactly what I needed to do. So we're here. Let's see what this says right here. It has a little warning label on it. Before you turn on your computer, please remove our unique and innovative Storm Shield packaging material inside the computer chassis. Storm Shield packaging prevents your video cards from dislodging from shipping abuse, which is exactly what the UPS guy did when he didn't put the lift all the way down. I got that foot, Digital Storm. I got it. But anyway, on this side is another notice. It says, after removing all contents from the box, please keep the system foam and shipping box your computer came in. Digital Storm advises to keep the original shipping materials and will not provide a return shipping box. That's just in case if you have to ship it back to him. Actually, I will eventually be shipping this back to him. And for this reason. This comes with a lifetime warranty, service warranty. What that means is, say for instance, you wanna go ahead and upgrade this because that's what computer people do. They wanna upgrade their parts. You can send it back to Digital Storm. They'll upgrade it for you. You just have to pay for the parts. They'll cover the labor. You cover the shipping. They'll ship it back to you. There you go. You gotta upgrade a PC. So eventually I'm gonna upgrade probably the motherboard into a new chipset. When a new chipset comes out, when a 4,000 graphics card comes out, I'm gonna wind up getting that too. So. Lifetime upgrades. Let's get it going. Let's 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 unbox this thing. Let's 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 see what this is all about here. Oh my god, like <laughs> my wife's bad, y'all, but I'm telling her she got a lot of competition on hand and I ain't even opened the box yet. That's how excited I've been. I haven't slept in a week. My mind has been racing. My wife could attest to that. Let's get the seal. Let's start it from here. This tape is thick. It's like a real industrial tape. I get it. They say you have to check if the seal is broken. If this seal is broken, that means somebody definitely tampered with it. Let's, let's. See, tamper proof. It's Steve proof too, clearly. Give me the flap. That's one. All right, all right, all right. We're getting there. We're getting there, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting there. All right. You hear that seal crack? Oh my God. All right, this is what we have. I don't know what these straps are. Hallmaster, oh, there you go. And Clint, look at that, okay. Get in case if you wanna, if you're gonna move, I guess, um, you have a safe way of strapping down this monstrosity because that's exactly what it is. It's a monstrosity. These things are like heavy duty too. They're not cheap at all. It's like, it's good metal. Let's put this to the side. I don't know what this is. I have absolutely no idea what this is. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to read what this is, but it does something, it does something. And these are your quick disconnect hoses for when you have to drain your unit. With the Aventum X, they give you two hoses because it has four ports and you have to do it two by two. So they give you two hoses. At least they provide you with the hoses and the quick disconnects. These are heavy duty too. These are nice, like, 
Well, th th there we go. There we go. Okay. It just quick disconnects just like that. And it goes on just like that. That's the that's the quick uh, that, that, it really does quick disconnect. That's Jesus Lord. This thing is like it it shoots. These are good. That's nice. That's nice. I like that. I like that. All right. Comes with a box, Digital Storm accessory box. Has your RGB remote because it has RGB lights inside. As you can see there. This should be just the LED light remote. We'll see what this is. Put that to the side. Power cord. This is stuff that comes with your motherboard, your RAM. This is just extra accessories that come with the stuff that you bought from it. And oddly, this doesn't have much. My recover USB, just in case I have to ever reformat Windows. It's just your stuff that comes with your motherboard and of course your power cable. I'm gonna take this stuff out because I feel like that's gonna be important. I'll leave the rest of the stuff in the box. This is gonna be the hard part is getting this thing out. I'm gonna have to tilt it, cut the bottom and push it out. So we're gonna give that a go. Whoa now, nah. whoa now, nah. whoa now. Nah. He's just making me nervous. I want me to tilt a big ass joint like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on G. Go ahead and cut the other side now. Yo, digital storm, yo. Whatever tape this is, y'all using. I mean, I got, I got business too, you know. I need this kind of tape, yo. Like, that tape is on point. This box too. Jeez, I can see this been. If I gotta push to get this out, like, it's like giving birth to a baby. Well, let me not disrespect women like that. It ain't like giving birth to a baby. There's no way. How do you get this thing out of this box? What? Digital storm. I'm not pushing on that chassis. I'm not pushing on the chassis. Like I'm going to have to push it out this way. Yeah. I guess I'll push it out the box. Is it crowning? <laughs> no, the box is just moving with me. Yo. <laughs> this is crazy. There's no handles to like grab. They say don't break down the box. Oh yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. It's crowning. Ooh. My ass ain't been in the gym in forever, y'all. Fuck y'all. Skinny niggas be winning, all right? I'm gonna get the shit out this bitch. I sound like I'm constipated, like, I'm about to start sweating. It's like a workout. It's crowning though. It's coming out this bitch. I'm trying to keep the box intact as best as possible. And you know what? You YouTubers, Jay's Two Cents, Linus Tech Tips, y'all some assholes because y'all made it seem like it was easy to get this shit up out of here. But it's all right. It's almost there. I feel it. I feel it. Hey. All right. I got it. Okay. I don't got it. I got it. I like to work neat, so I gotta kinda like get this box out of my way. Hopefully my dog don't chew it up. All right. Okay. Yo, 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 like, woo. Anticipation is killing me. Ice. Ooh. That wasn't bad. I swear they made it seem like this was cake work. Taking this thing out of this thing. And put it up right. This is up right? Yes, it is. Okay, okay, okay. Digital storm. My first thing. I'm done. Just a little bit disappointed. Little bit disappointed. Because when I watch the YouTubers, I'm not mad you didn't send my shit in a crazy glorious crate. I ain't mad at that. What I'm mad is that. How come they got a nice drawstring bag to lift out? But my shit is in plastic though. That's how you do me for 9,500? Plastic? I'm gonna let that one go. We're gonna move, we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. 
You know what I'm saying? But it's all good. It's all good. It was packed nice and tight. All this is, this is, this is really good stuff. Like if I got to send it back, best believe all this is being saved and I'm going to send it back to y'all. Cool. We got plastic though. All right, all right, all right. Damn, this shit is big. This shit is big, big. Okay, I'm going to just have to cut this shit. I ain't lifting. I ain't doing no more lifting. Ain't no more lifting happening. Look at this thing. I mean... y'all just because nobody knows what's going on right now but it's all good y'all gonna see in a second you're gonna see in a second warning do not turn on pc before filling with coolant scanning okay or assistance on how to fill it it's probably gonna take me to a youtube video that i probably watched about thirty thousand times already this is the front it still got the plastic but i i, mean, I, I told y'all i'm not listening it's gonna have to get ripped off this bitch. I know y'all waiting to see what's inside. I know y'all waiting to see what's inside. Chill, chill. I got y'all. I got y'all. Y'all ready? I can see it. I can see it through the pain. Oh! Yo, I can see this joint. Yo, the joint could make me. Yo, y'all see the bill. Oh my God. Yo, yo, digital storm. Yo, 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 yo. This better not disappoint me. I swear. I swear. This better not disappoint me. I'm, I'm going to let y'all know if this disappoint me. This is you excited, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's my mother-in-law. Yeah, we are, we, 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 we are excited, ladies and gentlemen. We are. Oh, my goodness. Bang. It ain't actually, you can't even see nothing yet. This glass pane is so heavy. Catch this glass pane. This glass pane is probably 25, 30 pounds. We're gonna set this on some carpet so I don't break it. Now, the person who was assigned to assemble this with the hardline loops is also assigned the task of customly cutting out these foam panels to put them inside just to make sure Nothing shifts around during shipping, so should be fairly easy to take it off. Let's, yeah. I like, like, don't want to forcefully take anything out. Like, you know what I mean? It's like Jenga. Yeah, like, it really is like Jenga. All right, that's that. Okay, that's that. That's that. That's that. That's that. Is that the motherboard I see? Yes, it is. Okay, that's it. All right, it comes out. Once you do it piece by piece, just do it slow and you'll be all right because it's literally in pieces. So I'm slowly jiggling this thing out, getting there. I'm not really concerned about the hardline loops because they're allowed to give a little bit. As you can see, there's some already some pre-liquid in there. They had to obviously test it and then drain it. They don't want to ship it to you as it's full. Okay, these pieces are kind of, kind of tough. Do I slide? There's a piece all the way up the up top here. Okay, there's a, there's a water loop. No, is that a water loop? I can't tell what this is, but there's something up here. It feels rubbery. It might be the RGB lights, actually. Here we go. There we go. So once you Jenga it, get the Tetris going, they come out fairly easy. Is that all of them? Is that is that is that all the foam panels? Is that everything? Is that everything? I think so. Oh my! Obviously, it comes with the coolant. I have to fill it before we can turn it on. We doing that today? Yes, we doing that now. That's that's what we're doing. Oh, I know what I know what this is, ladies and gentlemen. This is to get the reservoir cap off if it's too tight for you. Yeah, that reservoir cap is on there pretty tight. Hey, I'm gonna have to use this 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 Pittsburgh thing here. Let's figure out how to use this strap thing. This this we, we can get kinky with this thing. Bah! Oh damn, I almost hit myself. Look at that. Yeah. Look, it wraps around yourself. 
I'm playing. It's heavy. It's heavy duty. I'm assuming you have to. What is this thing? Like, I don't even know what this is. What do you think I have to do with this? Read the instruction. What instruction? That's what you have to do with it. You see, in the you, box. See, you see, you see, what do you mean? You see, we'll look in the box. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's see, let's see if there's some instructions for this <laughs> freaky deaky strap shit they fucking be sending you. It's like they knew my wife was going to help me with this. Or <laughs> oh, oh, look at this thing. Look, this is pretty cool. Hold on. Let's, let's rewind back here, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. It comes with a certificate of ownership. There you go. I now own an Aventum X. As if it's fucking special. That's just saying you spent a lot of fucking money. That's all it's telling me. You said it passed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course it would pass. And here's my order. Here's everything that I got. You guys can pause it if you need to. I gotta figure out how to use this strap. So no instructions, huh? No, I didn't come with no strap instructions. Oh, 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 look at that. I figured it out. I'm smart. I'm handy. I'm a MacGyver. All right, all right. Let's get this... Okay, no, I'm not a MacGyver. Like, is this even gonna work? I wanna get this powered on so everybody can see it in all of its glory. God damn, that shit is on there tight. All right, I'm gonna have to use this fucking strap, whatever, how to use this thing. Maybe I'm gonna have to YouTube how to use this strap. Like, this is crazy. Digital storm, like, what are we doing here? It's like, I feel like a mechanic. Like, what is this? What am I doing? I'm not gonna lose my mind. I am an impatient person, but I'm not gonna lose my mind just yet, Digital Storm. Like, I'm just making sure, like, there's nothing else. It's just this cap, okay. Hold on, hold on. I got somewhere. I ain't get it, but I got somewhere, you know what I'm saying? I'm supposed to do it from here. All right, Digital Storm. Did I get it? Did it turn? I, did you see a little turn? I. Yes! You got it? I got it! I got it! Yeah! We got it! We got it, y'all! We got it! I got it all! I'm gonna assume that you was you gave me a sterile bottle. If you didn't, problems. $9,500, problems. If you didn't give me a sterile bottle. If you didn't give me my, 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 my nice cloth sheath, that would have been nice, you know what I'm saying? Cause I can cover that every night. And now I don't have a nice bag, Digital Storm. Where's my bag at? I'm calling out for a bag. Fuck that. I want a bag. Just gonna have to have a steady hand. It almost looks like water, but it ain't. All right. That's good. I'm gonna have to fill this thing multiple times. Start by filling. You just squeeze. Put your bottle in and squeeze. Release to get some oxygen and squeeze. I'm not gonna cycle it, I'm not gonna turn it on just yet. Before you power it on, another thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure you check all the connections, make sure everything is nice, tight, and secure. Digital Storm does tell you to do that beforehand. I went and did that already, I didn't record it, but it's just, make sure it's tight. That's the most I can do. Let's hope that it all runs and goes as I power it on. Yeah, this, this cable is like, jeez, no give. All right, the trick here is power it on, let the coolant run through, power it off, fill it up some more, power it back on. So that's what we're gonna do. Make sure you get your coolant bottle ready so as it's cycling through, you can fill it. But this is it. This is powering it on for the first time. We got some lights. We got some lights. We got a light. Hold on, power button's up top. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, look at this thing. Oh my god, look, oh, I can't get this thing going. oh my god. All right, I'm going to power it down so I don't burn out this motor. That's a preview, y'all, that's a preview, y'all, y'all see, y'all see? Woo! Oh my god, that was a crazy light show. I need to get this thing powered on and hooked up to my Samsung Odyssey G9 ASAP. We'll get it all the way to that tip again. Yup. 
Yup. All right, and then you pre-fill this bottle again, just so I could have it ready. Look, whole thing gone already, one whole thing. So that just goes to show you how much you're gonna need for an Eventum. You're gonna probably need a whole bottle and a half of these things. This is not the safe way to do this, to pour this in here, but I have a fairly steady hand, so. And if it spills a little bit, it's all good. Okay. Another cycle through, ladies and gentlemen. We another another light show. Another another light show is about to begin. The light, let the light show begin. Ooh, oh my God, this thing. It's almost pretty full, ladies and gentlemen. Not bad, not bad at all. You don't have to fill it up to the top. I believe I can fill it up to right about mm, here and it should be fine. Yeah. It's got some air bubbles in here, man. Come on, digital storm. But it's flowing. I'm gonna put a little bit more and then I'm gonna cap this thing. Yeah. And another thing to do is not to put the cap on too tight because you can mess up your unit doing that. I'm gonna make sure it's sealed tight, airtight, so it doesn't evaporate, but look at it! Oh my God, look at this thing. The craziest part is the front, but if you take a look at the back, Even the back of this thing is incredible. From front to back, this thing is absolutely incredible. I mean, just look at how that thing flows today. You see that? I should take this glass panel off. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll move the glass panel. I gotta get this thing hooked up to my G9, like ASAP. Oh my God, look at this thing. Making sure I don't lose anything. I'm making sure I don't lose nothing. Another heavy glass panel that I'm scared to put anywhere. This thing, the back of it is insane. The size, the size of these fans, like, what? What do I have here? Like, what is this? The back has its own distribution block. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then there's three more here. Let me try this RGB remote. Let's see what we got here. Bow, bow, bow. What? <laughs> Let me see that. Oh my God, RGB heaven. As you can tell from my room, I love RGB. Love me some RGB. Oh my, that's pretty dope. This is really impressive. Like as far as a total machine, I mean, I haven't run any benchmarks, but aesthetics wise, just off of aesthetics, this is almost perfect. I do have some things about it, but this is almost perfect. This is, this is beautiful. All right, all right. About the specs guys, I'm gonna give y'all the specs. I9 12900K, you already know what the deal is. You know what I'm saying? The new, the newest Intel chip, man. You know what I mean? We got performance cores, we got efficiency cores, all right? It's running the 3090, of course. Come on, man, I pay mad bread for this. You think it's not gonna have a 3090? Best in believe it's gonna have a 4090 when that 4090 come out. It's got 64 gigs of HyperX 3600 megahertz uh, memory. I went with DDR4. And the reason why I went with DDR4 is because when I went to go order this, they were sold out of DDR5. But it took three months to get this. Now their DDR5 is in stock. I wish I would have went DDR5, even though the performance is fairly equal when it comes to DDR4 and DDR5 currently, but DDR5 is going to get a lot better. And unfortunately, I'm gonna be stuck with this DDR4 motherboard. So it is what it is, but it's still gonna perform out the ass. So I does it really matter at this point? I mean, like I said, eventually I'll upgrade the motherboard and the chip and get new RAM at that point and probably get a new 4090 card at that point too. So that'll be later on down the road, like two years from now. It's two years. So 
Here we go. That's that. Let's let's get this thing connected. Let go, man. Let go. Let go. I feel like slamming something down, but I don't want to break nothing. I just need to see this thing powered up to the Samsung G9 and see what this thing is looking like. This is like the most not way to do it. The most not way to do it. <sighs> Very good with your words, Steve. I'm not a YouTuber. I, I'm not a YouTuber. So. Let's see if we get something. No sick. Oh, it's on HDMI. That made me nervous. That made me nervous. I'm not gonna lie. All we gotta do is switch inputs though. It's all good. It's all good. Display port one. Hold on, it's not, it's, this is, oh my God. Refresh rate is at 120 now. We on that 240, baby. We on that 240. Yes. We're gonna fix that. We're gonna fix that. We're gonna get that right. We're gonna get that right. Okay, okay. We got action.